Hello, 8th grade students. This is Baiju, 6th, 7th and 8th channel and I am Saurabh. Welcome to this amazing series we call as Rapid Revision, the last lap. And here we cover complete chapter under 30 minutes. Today's number is Chemical Effects of Electric Current. It's a very simple chapter. It's a very simple chapter. Half of the story you have already studied in, in your earlier grade, grade 7th. You have studied heating effect and you have studied magnetic effect. This is the story of chemical effects of electric current. So overall, today is the end of effects of electric current with chemical effects. All right. Kya milega is pure session mein? Learning milega yaar, obviously, right? So you will revise the complete chapter. That's for sure. I'll give you homework question. That is something which I always... I always give you and I expect answers in the comment section because if you have understood, samaj gaye ho, to answer karo. Kya sharmana hai, hai na? Next, you will get two very amazing things. One, notes. Dusra, worksheets, exam important questions. Or teesra, a smart playlist. Ye teen chizo ke baare mein, I'll tell you more in the end. Thik, chalo, start kare. What is this chapter? See, this chapter, it's a very simple chapter. Believe me, grade 7th was actually tougher than this. But this is a very simple chapter. It starts with conductors, insulators. And dheere dheere, it all talks about what are the different ways in which you can see chemical effects of electric current and why do we use and where do we use the chemical effects, right? So let's begin. Let's begin slowly, nicely from conductors and insulators. But we all know what is a conductor. And when we say conductor, it's a chapter of electricity. If generally someone will ask you, they will ask you electrical conductors, electrical insulators. So this is talking about electrical conductors, right? The materials which allow current to pass through them, right? So that is conductors and which do not are called as insulators. Electrical conductivity is the ability of a material to conduct electric current. So what is the ability? What is the power of that material? It is electrically conductive. It has good electrical conductivity, okay? Fine. The concept of tester is something which you have already studied in grade 6. I'll just revise it very quickly. But I'll simply tell you what was the tester. Tester was a, a half circuit or a partial circuit made by you such that you can test other materials whether they allow current to pass through them or not. Sir, what did Listen, I'm saying it is a partial circuit made by you. It's a partial circuit made by you so that you can test that this material is not tested, this conductor is or insulator. है. This material will allow current to pass or not allow current to pass. Because if it allows, it means that the whole circuit will current flow. Karega. Because if this conductor right now, if this conductor allows current to pass through it, current will flow through the whole circuit. Means the LED will glow. But if this is not a conductor, if this conductor is not an insulator, then what will happen? The current will not flow, the LED will not glow. So the LED is telling you that the current is flowing. And this is what happens. If you literally go with the name tester, the thing which you have in your house, that is also a tester. Hai na? That tester, how do you check if there is current in that line or not? The electrician they will come and they will just put it, put it in the socket. It is glowing. Haan, it is live. Switch it on, right? That's what a tester is. Clear ho gaya? Theek hai. Next, conductors versus insulators. I just told you. Materials which allow current to pass through them are called as conductors. Think of metals. Copper, iron, steel. Good, conduct uh, good conductors have high conductivity. They will conduct good, right? So they will have high conductivity. Materials which do not conduct. Materials which do not allow current to pass through them are paper, wood, glass. All these are insulators or bad conductors if something is a bad conductor you will say it it has low conductivity right it has low conductivity so good conductors have high conductivity bad conductors or good insulators have low conductivity clear right okay again i just told you testing ka led was one way Glowing of LED would mean that this material is allowing current to pass through it. That became a tester for you. Right? The LED glowing was telling you that current is there. Yes. But there could be other ways also of making a tester. What do you want? You just an indication. Right? You just want an indication that whenever current is flowing in the circuit, there should be something which you can sense. Either you can see something or you can hear something. Kuch aawaz nikal jahe, current nikal nahe, pe tab bhi ho jahe ka kaam hai na. So that's why this buzzer is there. 
there is one more way this is also a tester which works on sound like if the current is flowing this buzzer will buzz this was this buzzer will create a sound whatever the sound is doesn't matter you know sound could be so it's it doesn't matter but important thing is this one is also indication for you that current is passing through this conductor this material is allowing the current to pass through it and that is the reason that buzzer is buzzing okay one more or the best way i would say yes the best way see all of these are kind of using the current no but the best way is this compass flowing current whenever a current passes through a wire it has magnetic fields associated with it correct it has some magnetic properties associated with it who found it hans christian ørsted in last class only we just saw this right so whenever current is flowing in a wire it has some magnetic properties associated with it means it will influence other magnets around it now what is a magnetic compass सर कुछ नहीं है बड़ा सिंपल सा एक ऐसे डिवाइस है केस है प्लास्टिक का इन साइड दैट देर इज अ स्मॉल मैग्नेटिक नीडल यस यू आर राइट मैग्नेटिक कंपस इज अ वेरी सिंपल डिवाइस विद आउटर प्लास्टिक केस नॉन मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल्स केस एंड इनसाइड वी हैव अ स्मॉल नीडल व्हिच इज मैग्नेटिक नीडल इट्स अ स्मॉल मैग्नेट इफ दैट मैग्नेटिक कंपस इज केप्ट नियर दिस करंट कैरिंग वायर दिस कंपस विल शो डिफ्लेक्शन it will only show deflection if there is current flowing in the wire so this became an indication for you that if you have this magnetic compass and the, if it deflects oh there is current flowing nice it is not using the current of this wire that is why this is the best way okay fine so you have understood three types of testers okay but conducting is it only property of solids no liquids can also conduct and that's what this chapter is all about liquids can also be good conductors means they can allow current to pass through them what they need they need ions liquids need ions solids they need free electrons right so good conductors if you talk about tap water salt solution vinegar these are good conductors see whatever has ions and in very simple terms how can you make a solution more conducting give it some ions how give it some acid citric acid acetic acid lactic acid milk uh, lemon juice vinegar all this is acid add some salt copper sulfate sodium chloride so all this is something which you which will increase conductivity correct tap water why tap water pure water is actually not a good conductor pure water is an insulator but tap water has impurities salts dissolved in it and that is why it conducts hai na to isliye all these become good conductors ab baat karte hain bure conductor matlab insulators ki which do not have ions like distilled water or pure water sugar solution when you dissolve sugar in water it behaves almost similar to sodium chloride or table salt because both disappear but there is a difference sodium chloride gives you ions sodium ions na plus ions cl minus ions but here sugar thus sugar just kind of decreases its size it dissolves it does not give you ions right oil uh, uh, petrol uh, uh, right so all of these are you can say natural solute solvents right Na natural solvents water is natural solvent these are all organic solvents you can say hai na organic compounds hai log inme ions nahi milte Mostly ionic compounds में मिलते हैं ठीक है Fine. Okay sir. Making conducting liquids. I told you, if you want to make distilled water conductive, how the question will come? कि भाई distilled water was there and the LED was not glowing. I will give you four options. Which of them I should add so that this LED will glow? Because LED glowing means current will pass. So what should I add in this distilled water such that current passes? क्या ऐड करोगे यू हैव टू गिव इट आयंस यानी कि गिव सम एसिड एसिटिक एसिड विनेगर सिट्रिक एसिड लेमन जूस लैक्टिक एसिड मिल्क डाल दो है ना बटर मिल्क डाल दो छाछ डाल दो यार क्या फर्क पड़ रहा है डिस्टिल वाटर में यू कैन ऐड बेस राइट यू कैन ऐड बेस सोप सॉल्यूशन बना दो फाइन वर्क यार नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम एड सॉल्ट टेबल सॉल्ट डाल देंगे कोई बात नहीं क्या दिक्कत है फाइन सो acid base or salt add whatever you want but this will increase the conductivity of the solution and the led will glow fine theek hai it's a very direct question i'm telling you next all this is fine right 
ओके नेक्स्ट केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट वट विल यू ऑब्जर्व सच दैट यू विल गेट अ फीलिंग दिस इज अ केमिकल इफेक्ट आई मीन मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट में यू न्यू इन मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट तुमको पता था यार इफ द इफ द मैग्नेटिक कंपस शोज डिफ्लेक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ करंट यू कैन मेक इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेट ऑल दोज वर मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट हीटिंग इफेक्ट वॉज इन फ्यूज राइट अ फ्यूज वायर मेल्ट बिकॉज ऑफ हीट वॉट एल्स हीटिंग एलिमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक आयरन गीजर्स ऑल दीज आर हीटिंग इफेक्ट बट केमिकल इफेक्ट में वॉट विल यू गेट टू सी मतलब मेरे को कैसे पता केमिकल इफेक्ट है वो देर आर थ्री वेज ऑफ टेलिंग इफ देर इज अ केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ करंट और नॉट फर्स्ट चेंज इन द कलर ऑफ द सोल्यूशन इफ योर सोल्यूशन चेंज इज कलर दैट इज द कॉज ऑफ केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट सेकेंड इफ यू सी इवोल्यूशन ऑफ गैसेज देर इज अ वेरी नाइस शॉर्ट ऑन द चैनल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिस ऑफ वॉटर right check out evolution of gas and it's a very simple even you can do it with a battery and two pencil nice check it out be regular come on guys nice then we have deposition of metals if let's say in your solution you have two electrodes what are electrodes two terminals basically from which current can enter and current can leave uh, from the solution right so if you have two electrodes and you will see in one electrode there is deposition of some metals material so that you can say it's chemical effect only tick fine and that is how you tell if chemical effect has happened ab is a very common thing which it is also a short on the channel then is filled with things to learn come on this is effects of electric current on a potato if you take a potato and you connect two terminals from a battery into the potato you will see that the positive terminal of the battery wherever it is connected in the potato that side will go green what did we say change in color it's a chemical effect so this is also a chemical effect correct hai na so this is because of current right so that's is my friend the question directly comes uh, which terminal will show the green color positive terminal negative terminal so positive terminal is the answer fine chalo we said one more deposition of metals right electro plating electro plating see electro plating think of the word electro plating what is plating plating is coating plating of plating of some metal over another materials plating of some material over another material is called as plating if you use like if you use electricity for it electro so electro plating is plating of one metal over the other metal using electricity is called as electro plating thick how does it work let me tell you i told you there are two electrodes and basically these are two terminals from which current enters and current leaves bhai circuit pura hona hai to current ko to pura flow karna padega na samajh rahe ho so this is the positive terminal negative terminal the the material or the metal plate which is connected to positive terminal of the battery this is called as anode so copper plate will be the anode thick okay now second yes second you can say this is another plate this is also copper nahi let's take this is let's say aluminium hai na let's say this is aluminium plate fine so kya hoga yahan par current will come like this now what do you want you will see if this is aluminium plate the second wala if this is aluminium plate then copper from that plate will leave that plate and will get deposited on this cathode so in electroplating what happens the anode starts forming ions or starts leaving or the anode plate becomes smaller and smaller because the element of anode is traveling towards cathode and getting deposited over there hai na so this is called as electroplating and the condition is the electrolyte should have the ions of the anode like it is copper right you want to plate copper so this will have ions of copper sulfate cu so4 cu2 plus so4 2 minus okay fine now how does this work like if this is anode and here we are doing what here in the second case we are plating the second the ski with zinc for example so what do you want if you want to plate something with zinc i want anode of zinc and i want electrolyte of zinc something so zinc sulfate here is the zinc sulfate this is your electrolyte this is your zinc plate zinc 
will leave come into the electrolyte go towards cathode and will it will hold the cathode hai na it will plate the cathode so this is how electroplating occurs clear i know we haven't delved uh, a, a very deep into this but today it's good enough to just give a you know superficial understanding of it that's okay because we don't have time and second you will learn this in great detail in your chemistry in uh, grade 11 12th don't worry relax okay fine so this is how electroplating occurs condition is the thing you want to electroplate becomes the anode the thing which will be plated the thing which will get the coating over it will be the cathode jo coating karega will become the anode and you want the electrons or the ions of anode in the solution that is important fine theek hai chalo why do we do electroplating bhai we do electroplating to prevent scratches scratch na pade cheezon pe that is important to prevent corrosion cheeze corrode nahi hone chahiye kharab nahi hone chahiye to unke paas kya karo unke upar coating kar do badhiya si to make object shiny oh gold plating gold plating we all know why 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 we do it because gold is expensive right this not so much gold yaar itna sab afford thodi karenge to kya karte hain upar plating kar dete hain kai baar shiny bhi lagta hai acha bhi lagta hai badhiya kaam sabka theek hai so people with this we are done with chemical effects of electric current i told you it's a very simple chapter important things about this chapter is first of all conductors insulators what is a tester different types of tester then what do we come towards we come towards how to make a solution conducting that is important then how do you tell if chemical change has happened chemical effect of electric current has happened that is also fine then electroplating is very very important fine electroplating is very very important so i think that's good enough this chapter contains this much only it's a very small very short chapter i just told you everything important about this right okay so quickly a homework question for you a thin plate of pure copper and a thick rod of impure copper are used as electrodes for purification of copper i know i haven't taught this in this but i have taught this in classes and this is something if you know electroplating if you know what leaves and where does it deposit then you can answer this question so try well which electrode should be attached to the positive terminal of the battery and why answers in the comments and people as i promised i'll tell you two very very important things i will tell you uh which you have in the description one you have a link which contains notes of this chapter and important exam questions of this chapter in the description this is for you these are pdfs these are downloadable all yours second you have a smart playlist why is it smart oh it's very smart you select your grade it will show you all the chapters science math it will tell you all the important one shots all the sessions you need to watch it will give you all the tests every chapter wise it will give you test that is also yours everything is yours people you just have to reach out and you will grab it fine so people use the resources well and i hope you love this rapid revision we'll meet again next time till then take care and bye bye